Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my top five tips on how I stay organized. I knew you guys wanted to see this video since I did my office tour and told you all about my different jobs. I will link that video down below if you are curious. But I do have a lot going on, so some of you wanted to know how I keep on top of it all and keep my mind from going absolutely crazy. Before we get into the video, this dress is from Pink Blush Boutique, and this lip color is Kat Von D's Ophelia. I usually get questions on what I'm wearing, I'd like my lip color, so I thought that I should throw that information in these videos for you guys. Without further ado, let's get into the tips. My number one tip, have a planner that is functional and fun for you to use. I use the Erin Condren planners and this is my second one. So I've been using them for two years now and I really, really like them. I just picked mine up at Staples. Staples does carry them if you don't want to order them online, but you can do a lot more customization online and all of that stuff. But for me, sometimes I just need that instant gratification of going to the store and getting what I need. I get the vertical layout, which looks like this. This just works for me in terms of how my mind works and my functionality. I love these planners because the covers are beautiful. Each month has like a fun little quote that's inspiring. You get your monthly calendar and you have your goals that you can write down here for each month. And in the back there's folder pockets for extra papers you might have. There are stickers. For me, this is the planner that I love and works best for my life and my different things that I have going on. But by all means, find a planner that works for you and make sure that it's functional, efficient, and fun to do because planning should be fun. I love sitting down every weekend to plan out the following week. So what I use to make it fun are stickers. These are both from Erin Condren. I got these at Staples as well. And I also have this little cute sticker book from Shot Bando. So it just makes your planner look a little bit more fun and colorful and bright and exciting. I also like to use colored pens. Now these were a gift from my client at the gym. They're erasable gel pens like the best invention in the world. These are by Pilot. They're called the Frixian Ball Knock 05 pens. I will link them down below uh, if I can find them, but I just love writing in planners with a pen, especially colored pens. It keeps my thoughts organized. I like to put my different jobs in different colors, and the fact that they're erasable makes them so good because there's nothing worse to me than like a messy looking planner with crossed out things and things whited out. It freaks me out. So erasable pens are where it's at. Make planning fun. Write down your appointments. Write down the different tasks you have to get done. Write down your goals. Write down whatever you need to keep your mind organized and scheduled and on track. Tip number two, keep your thoughts organized in notebooks and folders. So for me, all of my paperwork that is related to each other, whether that's insurance, home insurance, veterinarian bills, hospital bills, whatever, I keep them all in separate folders. I'm sure that is nothing new to you guys, but it keeps your life organized. You know exactly where to go to find exactly what you're looking for, and it just makes your life so much less chaotic because there's nothing worse than trying to find an important piece of paper that is just thrown somewhere in your house. So keep different folders for everything. I have a bunch of colorful folders, regular folders. I also like to use these like accordion folders for categories that need like a lot more space. These are perfect. Now along with that, I keep my ideas organized in notebooks. I have so many different notebooks, you guys. I personally love buying notebooks. I think they're so cute. Like I have this little corkboard one from Target. I have this customized one from Personal Planner and just little ones that have been gifted to me. And each one has its purpose. So this one might have my goals for the year. 
This one might have all my YouTube ideas. This one might have all my ideas for my fitness business. I feel like having everything separated into its own space keeps my mind sane. So if there's something that I need to focus on, I pull out that notebook and that's what I focus on. Rather than having a notebook full of every idea in the world and everything that you're thinking of and planning, that's chaotic to me. It makes me lose focus on the one thing that I do want to focus on. Tip number three, have a daily to-do list. Now I know we have already talked about the planning process and having a planner, but for me having a daily to-do list on my phone that goes with me everywhere is extremely helpful. Now I don't use the notes app in the iPhone. I just don't like the way that it looks and it's not like aesthetically pleasing to me. So I use Evernote instead. It's just a free app. And what's great about Evernote is that it syncs up to your account on the internet. So if your phone breaks or you lose it or it crashes, you can just go to the internet and all your notes will be on evernote.com and you don't have to stress out. Now I know the notes app on the iPhone probably connects to the cloud, but I personally don't use the cloud. It kind of freaks me out. I don't know how to use it. So Evernote is a great alternative to the notes app on the phone. I will show you guys what it looks like. It's white, it's aesthetic. You can change the font size, you can change the color, you can add little check mark boxes. It's just really great to look at and stay organized throughout the day. Now my to-do lists are kind of similar to what's in my planner, but they have more minuscule tasks that I need to do, like put away the laundry. Just seeing that on my phone and knowing that I can check it off is so gratifying and it makes me more motivated to do it. So putting away the laundry, cleaning out my hard drive, anything like that, I like to add it to my to-do list. Now I typically do my to-do lists the night before and I can obviously add whatever I think of the next morning to it. It's just honestly really gratifying to see your to-do list being checked off. I love it. Tip number four, have a clean space. If I don't have a clean space surrounding me, I cannot function and I cannot work to my best capability. That is why I try to keep my house in tip top shape. If something's out of place, I will put it away. I really hardly ever leave a chore for the next day because it just drags down the next day. You don't have a fresh start. Like the kitchen, for example, I like to wash the dishes the night before because I don't like to wake up and have to do them in the morning. So. For me, a clean space is everything, and that includes an organized, clutter-free space too. It doesn't necessarily just have to be about cleanliness, like floors mopped, kitchens cleaned. That definitely is a big bonus for me. I function a lot better when the house is clean, but a clutter-free space is key for me, for sure. My brain needs to be in an environment that is organized in order for it to be organized itself. If there are things all over the place and paperwork all over the place, it's chaotic and it's hard to focus on what you wanna focus on because you're so distracted by, I have to put this away, where does this go? Why is this out? Oh, I have to work on that. If you're done using something, put it away. It is not that hard to do. It's just building that habit each and every day. Hey, I'm done using this pad of paper. Let me put it in its drawer or on its shelf. Hey, I'm done looking at this file on my desktop. I can put it away into my documents. As you go, you're decluttering or else it's just gonna keep building and building and building up and you're gonna have a crazy, chaotic, cluttered space. Tip number five, have somewhat of a daily routine. And I know each day is different, but if you can start your morning off in a way that makes you excited and happy for the day and makes it feel like a fresh start, you're gonna feel so much more organized and productive for the day. Start your morning off with your favorite cup of tea or your favorite cup of coffee or your favorite smoothie. Sit down and just relax and gather your thoughts for the day before just jumping in and rushing out the door. 
grabbing something unhealthy to eat. The way you start your morning can really dictate the rest of your day. So it's important to do what you enjoy in the morning, something that's calming, something that's relaxing, as you look through your planner, as you look through your to-do list. Set time for yourself in the morning. Wake up a little bit earlier so you have that time and really get organized within your headspace. For me, I love my mornings when I wake up and the kitchen is clean, the house is clean. I make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and then I sit on the couch and I go through my emails and my social media and my to-do list and just make sure everything's in place and ready to go for the day. That's my favorite part of my mornings. So those are my top five tips for staying organized. I hope you guys took something from it and enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video.